Welcome to How to Speak Like a Californian. My name is Barrett and I'll be walking you through this lesson today. Um, so I'm, I'm teaching the subject matter because I'm actually from California. And so these are all words that, at least in my area, area like the uh, Southern California area, we use these words pretty frequently. Um, the majority of them we use pretty frequently. Uh, there are some that are a little bit more specific to where I'm from exactly, and there are differences just throughout the state. So it's not run of the mill, or it's not, these words aren't used everywhere. Many of them are, uh, many of them can be. Uh, and, and so, yeah, we'll, we'll hop right into it. The first word is gnarly. You'll hear this one very often, uh, at least coming from me and, and uh, where I'm from. Gnarly basically means um, kind of like intense, something like that. It's, it adds a level of intensity to it. It depends on the context and you have to really listen to how somebody says it because it can be used in a good and bad way. You would be like, oh, that's gnarly. Like, that's a, that's a good thing. It's, a, it's, it's intense in a good way. Or like, uh, oh, that was a little bit too gnarly. Like, that was a little bit too uh, too much for me. It was too intense for me. The next word is for sure, or more properly, for sure. But we say like, oh, for sure, dude. For sure. You know, it's a, uh, we, it's kind of like a filler thing, or say somebody says something that you don't really agree with, but you're gonna, you're just gonna say that anyways, and maybe sarcastically agree with them. Like say, say you had a meal together, and they, your friend thinks that the food was really good, but you think that it was horrible, and your friend is like, man, that food is really good, and you're, you just look at him sarcastically, you're like, for sure, dude, for sure. <laughs> and then there's dude. I've already said it, and it's many people know this one. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty uh, classic Californian. Uh, dude is just a way to say mech or bro or say what up to your friend. What up, dude? We even call certain things and objects, dude. Like this could be a pen, dude. This could also be a pen guy. Right there. Uh, it just, you could be really reference anything as a dude. Those, look at those wave dudes. Oh, look at that, look at that little wave guy. Or look at that, uh, look at that fan guy. Or, uh, I don't know, really anything, look at this chair, dude. It, it depends, but there's some things, but we would say it in reference to many things, just depending on how we're feeling. And then there is sick, another very, very common one, and one that I definitely throw down a lot, one of, them, one of the words that I definitely use a lot. Uh, it is like cool, uh, oh, that was super sick, um, kind of like a genial or a formidable, or yeah, just sick dog, similar to dude. Uh, like it's it's we don't use it in regard to nouns or objects, but we really just say, oh, what's up, dog? How good is it? You know, like it's 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 a way to say hello to your friend, your homie. Homie is another word, uh, but it's just a way to say what up to you, bro. Hectic. Hectic, I think this one's a little bit more specific to where I'm from, uh, but hectic is, it could imply good or bad, it's similar to gnarly in that sense. Uh, hectic is like that, you could say, say you come out of a wave and you're like, oh that was hectic, like that was awesome. Or say you're, you're just in a very crowded environment, and you're like, oh that was a little bit too hectic for me. Uh, a little bit just too uh, too much, which that's the normal use. It's the normal use of the word because it, it isn't just slang, but we can just throw it down whenever we could just use it in situations where it totally doesn't even apply. Like, uh, like oh, dude, that was that was a hectic meal we just had. Like, that was good. Pitted. This one's very surfer. Pitted and shacked, actually, very surfer lingo, surfer oriented. And so, pitted, uh, you know, the, the pit of like an avocado or of a peach, it is in the center of the fruit. And so, pitted in regard to a wave or in regard to surfing, it basically just means that you are in the center of the wave, the barrel is over you, or you're just kind of like cruising in it. You're, you're, you're in the pit of the wave. 
But then, so you could either come out of the wave, come out of the barrel and be totally fine and say that's gnarly dog. Or you could, or you could get wrecked by the wave. You can get, um, you can tumble in the wave. The wave could take you out or you can get destroyed by the wave. And that is what we would call getting shacked when you get wrecked by the wave. When the wave wins and you don't win, that's an unfortunate day. But it happens all the time and it's not that bad. It just depends on how big the wave is, you don't. Know? Could get sketchy. Um, sketchy, that's another one. I didn't write that on here, but sketchy. Sketchy basically means, um, I'll write it up here. Sketchy. Or, sketchy or sus. Uh, something sus is it, it's just a shortened version of suspect. Um, if something is looking a little bit, um, you're not too sure about it. You are a little bit apprehensive. You are being wary of it. Uh, it, it you could it, it could be just a sketchy situation. You know, it could be maybe you aren't you don't feel very good about it, and so it might seem a little bit sketchy or it might seem a little bit suspect, or maybe somebody can seem a little bit suspect, uh, or seem a little bit sus. So yeah, we got that. Um, and there's dank. Dank we usually use this in regard to food and other things, um, but f in regard to food, it's, it's when the food is really good. Oh, that food was so dank. Wow, yeah, that was super dank. Um, cruise. Uh, cruise means I'm coming, like I'm coming over. Uh, hey, like cruise over later. Okay, yeah, I'll cruise. Or um, I I'm cruising over soon. We'll cruise over together. Uh, it basically just means that we are going somewhere, but it's kind of at like a, a sauntering, kind of like relaxed pace. And then uh, I'm down. You could say, uh, oh, I'm down to cruise. Yeah, I'm down to come over. I'm down to cruise over, I'm down to eat, I'm down to do this or that, I'm down to surf. Basically means that you are willing and able and wanting to do something. You could also, oddly enough, say, I'm up for that. <laughs> the two complete opposites. I'm down for that and I'm up for that. And both mean the same thing, that you're willing, able, and wanting to do something. Uh, mob. Mob is similar to cruise in that you could say, and this one is also pretty area specific for me. Uh, mob means, hey, I'm mobbing over. I will mob over soon. We're going to mob together um, in reference to going somewhere. Um, dope. Similar to dank, but it's not always just applied to food. Dope could be, oh, that was like a super dope uh, party you had last night. Or you have a really dope house. Like, it means cool, you, you appreciate it. Um, lit, lit is usually in, in regard to something that's high energy, like a concert or a party. Um, but you could, we also just use it whenever we, I don't know, whenever the situation calls for it. Like say, oh, we just got two free tickets to, uh, to that soccer game. Oh, that's pretty lit, dude, that's, that's really cool. Wasa, this is a way that we, this is a way that we can say what's up to a friend. So we just take out the tss and up and we just say wasa, or we say sa, dude, and give him a little, uh, dap him up a little bit. And you can say wasa, or you can say even carne asada, dude, because carne asada is a really good Mexican food. In Southern California, we like to turn foods and Mexican or Spanish phrases into words that we like to just use, similar to uh, fuego. We'll get to fuego. Um, snag. Snag uh, means, hey, can you snag that for me? Or on your way home, can you snag some food? Basically, it means like, hey, you're asking somebody, hey, can you snag me that pen? Sure, dude. And then hand it to them. Or I'm going to go snag my, uh, my board really quick, and then I'll be there. I'm gonna go snag my surfboard really quick and I'll be there in 30 minutes. So it just means I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go grab, I'm gonna go take something and bring it somewhere else. Guy, we already went over guy. There's also yeah, no, and no, yeah. Um, this is more of a phrase and you'll hear it randomly and it's, it's very confusing. It's kind of like I'm up for that and I'm down for that. Um, they, 
It's the complete opposite of each other, but they can either mean yes or no. So yeah, I'm, yeah, no, I'm down for that. Or yeah, no, I'm not really feeling it today. I'm not going to go. So I'll give you a situation. So if, if one person's like, hey, do you want to go out to eat tonight? Uh, and, I, and then maybe I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm down. No, yeah, for sure. Okay, let's do it. Or maybe I'm, I'm a little bit apprehensive. Maybe I'm not really feeling well. I'll say, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not really feeling it tonight. No, yeah, I, it's not for me. Sorry, not tonight. I can't. Freaking, freaking is just, uh, it, 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 it basically just adds force onto the word that it, it precedes. Um, so an example that like you could say that was awesome, but if it was really awesome, you could say that was freaking awesome, bro. That was freaking awesome, dude. Fuego, like I was talking about earlier with carne asada, carne asada, dude. Um, fuego, it, it means fire in Spanish. And so we could say, but this, we usually just re re use it in reference to food. Uh, I'm sure you're seeing a, a, a certain trend here. We like to talk about food a lot. Um, fuego could be, oh, dude, that food was so fuego, bro. Um, or even shorten it to just fuego. Man, that was such a fuego burger I just had. That was such a fuego taco. That place is so fuego in regard to a restaurant. Uh, and then lastly, kick it. It's necessary. Hey, you want to cruise over and kick it later? It means like, do you want to hang out? Do you want to spend time together? Do you want to kick it tomorrow? Like, what are you up to? Do you want to kick it? Are you free? Do you want to kick it tomorrow? Uh, or uh, we're kicking it later over at, at my over at my place. Do you want to come over? So yeah, that's about the gist of it.